Niagara Falls Boulevard is getting a facelift. Today, leaders gathered to discuss how the busy road can be improved. News 4's Angela Christoforos is live on the boulevard in Amherst to explain the way leaders plan to make it safer, safer rather, for pedestrians. Angela. Well, Mel, Amherst and Tonawanda, Tonawanda officials did a walk audit this morning with members of the state DOT, Department of Transportation. The whole purpose was to look for areas along Niagara Falls Boulevard that need to be improved. Now, this is just the first phase of plans to improve this busy road. Now, officials say that the state DOT has already started making small changes. Last week, they began working on striping and markings. There's also plans to fiscal to fix crosswalks at 25 intersections along the road. Amherst and Tonawanda officials are both working on more lighting on the boulevard, but officials say there's only so much they can do because the boulevard is a state highway. Six pedestrians have died in accidents on Niagara Falls Boulevard in the past five years, and though some work has been done, town officials say there's still a way to go to address issues on this road. Why has it taken so long? Well, I think perhaps it's been some inattentiveness by the state to this highway. It, after all, is a highway that is a boundary between two municipalities. And as a result of that, there is no one town supervisor, there's no one state assemblyman, there's not even no one state senator who, who owns this situation.